welcome back to Genshin Impact. So, I know I said last episode we're gonna do the Rite of Ascension. We are. We are. But, um, I'm not about to leave this island without just doing this quest first because bridging over here is awful. <laughs> Stories brought on the wind will bloom into legends in due time. This must be the sundial mentioned in the notebook. Paimon doesn't get what's special about it, though. Maybe we should read that notebook a bit more carefully. Okay. So that notebook should be in our inventory. Um, the words on the sundial seem to follow on from the one by Thousand Winds Temple. Taken together, the four lines then deliver the complete message. Have something to do with the god of time. Okay, so early hours. And can I see? No, I can't see anything with my, uh, with my elemental sight just yet. But, I mean, it's not even like... Leave it to me! All of it! Whatever it is! What exactly steady as stone? Oh. Terra Smash! Okay. Ha. Maybe it needs to be earlier? There's... Is this still gonna be the same thing? Okay. Yeah, this is still the same thing. So... Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done this one. I don't... Oh. Okay. Oh no. I can tell you're alive. Dodge this. Doing my favorite method of fighting, which is called spam every single ability you have. But that doesn't really work when I have Geo Traveler. Also, okay, I think this happened in between episodes. But I traveled into Leeway a little bit, um, mostly to get to the Ocean Aid, so that way I could actually decide the Barbara. Steady as stone! There we go. Uh, mostly so I could ascend Barbara, but I didn't like go super far. But uh, yeah, so we we traveled a little bit in this area, and we did unlock Geo. So we're getting there. Okay, now, um, does it need to be animal? Oh, I've got more things. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I still need to collect this. Duh. Really serious. I don't... Maybe... Maybe I need... Maybe I need to have animal. That would make the most sense. My experiment. Thankfully, I have sucrose. Oh, there we go.
Okay. Okay, I see one. I am so happy I have sucrose right now. Oh my goodness. That must be like the temple or something. something behind me. There was definitely something there for like a split second. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's one... I was gonna say, there's one over there. Interesting. Stand clear. Oh no. We finally got there. It's now gonna take off towards Monset. Or not necessarily Monset, but. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna teleport there and switch out what they have. Um, I might get Animo again on Traveler while I'm here. I don't mind you. This way leads to the Thousand Winds Temple. Come on, move those legs. Resonate with animal. Yes, yes, yes. And now... Um, the question is, should I go? Oh, I should go with Lisa. Yeah, because she has... Here, let me help higher you. ...higher level. Alright, I did some quick switching around of artifacts and stuff, because apparently I forgot to do that in between episodes. And I did some upgrading of artifacts too, but whatever, that doesn't matter. It wasn't really that big of a deal. I mostly just wanted to switch out Sucrose, because Sucrose cannot damage the eye. I've been here a couple times. Um, mostly when I'm just wandering around. But I think I've gotten all the, uh... Wind blade. Okay. Do 
guys are all dead. I don't have to worry about the high there. Okay, so. Carving marks. Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. Okay. Hmm, did you have some business here, traveler? About the eye of the storm? An eye of the storm? I've been in this area this entire time and I've never seen such a thing, except for that sudden huge gust of wind earlier. But I'm sure that w that mm -mm. but I'm sure that it wasn't an eye of the storm. I would recognize one of those things anywhere. All right then. Believe me, I wouldn't be able to forget something like that coming to interrupt my research, even if I tried. Well then. To be precise, I am doing research together with a friend of mine. He's also a scholar, and we went to Sumeru Academia together. I'm sorry, I'm slowly making him more and more pretentious. <laughs> <clears throat> he became an archaeologist thereafter, traveling the world and doing surveys, while I continued my studies in the Academia. When he came to Mondstadt, he told me excitedly that he was surveying the Thousand Winds Temple. He even said something like, Once I've uncovered the secrets of your homeland, girl, you're the first person I'll tell. I didn't hear from him afterwards. I asked someone to send Cyrus a letter, requesting that the Adventurer's Guild help me look for my friend's whereabouts. But there was no news of him at all, so I discontinued my studies and hurried back here. But there's nothing here but a sundial, and there are no other clues. Well, there's a sundial on that island. What? What? There's another sundial elsewhere that's identical to this one, and it's on an island? That's literally exactly what I said. Oh, yes, now I remember. I've actually seen that island sometimes when the weather's clear. Wait, you said that you found a notebook next to the sundial? And my friend perhaps been there? Thank you. If I have the chance, I will head to that island to have a look. For now, however, I still have to figure this place out. I must continue my research. If you're interested, you can have a look at my research notes. I left them over there. Who knows? Perhaps there is something in there that might help you. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. That's why I talked to you, actually. Over here, right? Thick notebook. That's not what I need. I need you. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't really can't remember. I only remember that sometimes before dawn, the shadow cast by the sundial's pointer points right below it. Used to say that it would be best for people without vision not to take part in it. I didn't understand what they meant. All they could do without a vision was watch. Speaking of which, why is Monstats Adventurers Guild so t still so tiny? <laughs> 2 a.m. Okay. Why not keep me company for a while? There'll be plenty of time for work later. Lisa, we are trying to do stuff. Okay, so 2 a.m. Okay. things up a little. Have fun. Oh, hello. I must leave no wind blade. In time it will grow and sprout once again. Disappear. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. There we go. Cool it. Sorry, there's just him behind us. 
He's like cowering in fear. Is there supposed to be somewhere I can go where I won't get hit constantly in that? Because if there's not, then... <laughs> you really can just heal and that's it to try and protect yourself from it. Freeze! And this is why I brought these up. Closer. I don't even have to look to see where it is, I just kind of... That was such a huge chunk of damage. Jeez, there are so many monsters out here that I just was ignoring. Oh, that's just the, that's just the sun. I saw a weird golden thing, and I was just like, "What is that? Where did where did this thing come from? It wasn't here before. How did you summon it? Well, you give Henry Morton a detailed account of how the riddle was solved. Ah, so that's time and wind." So there's another sundial exactly like this on this one on the island, am I right? And the method to solve its riddle is the same. Then there must be some link between these two sundials and the two places they are located. I must find a way to get to that island, and quickly. Thank you, traveler. Once I've made some pre pre preparations, I will look for you, and we shall visit the uninhabited island together. I don't think you ever actually go with him. If you do, I don't remember it at all.
Yeah, I don't think you ever actually go with him. Okay. So, because I promised, um, adventuring. There. I wonder if we do this adventuring. No, that'll bring us up to eight. Dang it. Hold on, I want to give my animoculuses to the... to this. We are 6 out of 15. We are getting very close to having that be max leveled. I've just kind of been grinding it in between episodes to try and... I don't know. Just trying to keep getting better. Like, the characters and everything. And our stamina, because... Um... Mm. Alright. Time for the ascension. Okay, so... Hmm... It recommends I'll take care of it. Leave it to me. It recommends this party setup. Okay. That shouldn't be that shouldn't be bad. Barbara's almost level 50, which is great. Oh my god, it took me so long to do this the first time I ever tried to do this. <laughs> like an embarrassing <laughs> amount of time. Okay, you weren't supposed to go that way. You were both supposed to fall off. Okay. I don't really like having Barbara here instead of... Instead of, uh, Noelle. Because Noelle at least... Yeah, that comes up now. Okay, you damn lunge at me. This is going a lot better so than my soft. first ever attack. Let the show begin. I think I actually like let it rain. Work on making sure this dodge this go well. <laughs> Oh. With the wind. Wind blade. Okay. Oh, that's that's not fun. I don't like that. Yeah, can we not this? Freeze. First time I ever did this, I got stuck in this room. I could not get past it. I also, like the second I could do the ascension, I did it. So, <laughs> not a good idea, in case you're wondering. Um, it's definitely better to wait a little bit and actually like put effort into the characters before you try. Get ready for the gliding champion uh. of Mondstadt! <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I pretty much always just ignore them. <laughs> like, they don't stop you from completing it. So No one escapes by sight! Dodge this! Wind blade! Don't get frostbite! Get sucked up. Huh? 
And I thought it would be close enough to get yeah. both of you, but apparently yeah. not. Yeah. And you, you cryoed me, so now I'm all stuck. I hope this isn't the electrohypostasis. the best method for this for if you're like for this specific part is to just keep running around I don't know it just works the best because then he can't really like do anything to you if you just keep moving around, and then also yeah. the archers won't be able to really get you. Disappear! Because you just keep moving. Wind blade. <laughs> we shouldn't go. We shouldn't go up too far on our levels. This way. Okay. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, so I tried my ascension like three or four times the first time I ever did it. And when I actually was able to beat it, um, I was in a Discord call with some of my friends, and then I accidentally left this because I was trying to, um, <clears throat> I was trying to get someone into the call, and it was being weird, and then I accidentally hit uh, leave, because when you do this, I accidentally hit confirm, and I think I was like at this part or something. I almost cried, because I was just like, are you serious right now? Oh, no, 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 bet you can't keep up with me. This moment will be frozen in time. With the wind. Yeah, how about you jump? I heard a weird noise. And I just kind of, I don't know where it came from. It might be just the weird laser things. Oh, okay. It is the electrohypostasis. Okay. Let's dance. Come on. <laughs> gives us a good boost of damage. We have seven minutes. I think that should be fine. Dodge this! But I really Let it rain. Oh, I did not want to do that now. That was a mistake. Cool it! We are almost there. As long as I don't <laughs> screw up the ending. Dodge this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like, yeah. 
Yeah, as long as I don't screw up the ending and it revives itself, it should be okay. Cool it! Don't get frostbite! Oh, I unlock story quest? Oh. oh. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Oh my god, it put me up to 27. Oh no. Right. Okay. Now I need to figure out what we're doing now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a story quest. Yeah, because now we can collect keys, and um, it's always gonna be interesting when I can un unlock them. <laughs> oh, because there's this. Oh, that's leeway. Oh no. Maybe I finish up. Okay, so we only have four Mondstadt missions right now. I'm not counting uh, Dragon Spine because Dragon Spine is like a area. <laughs> I don't count it as part of Mondstadt because the compass doesn't- the Mondstadt treasure compass doesn't work there, so I don't really count it as part of Mondstadt. But I think doing Dragonspine stuff is going to be its kind of own thing. But I do want to- we could probably finish all of these. Because I think this one's just going to literally be talking to him about- uh, alchemy. I was about to say <laughs> the academy. That's no, no, that's not what. Hello. Greetings. I am Timaeus, researcher of alchemy. Welcome to Mondstadt. Alchemy. Alchemy is a craft that has been passed down since ancient times, but it is barely understood in the present. Its mechanisms are magical and mysterious, completely unlike the principles that shape our understanding of the physical world. If we can get the hang of this, we should be able to create some pretty awesome stuff. This must be your alchemist's workbench. I feel like that should be an exclamation point and not a question mark. That's right. Why not give it a go yourself? I don't know. It sounds complicated. You'll be fine. The procedure's actually very simple. If you're interested, I could show you the basics. All right, let's craft. Yeah. I'm almost surprised this is my first time in the crafting bench. Ooh, I wonder when you unlock being able to change the five-star artifacts. Interesting. <gasps> All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. What other uses does alchemy have? To be honest with you, I just don't know. There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. Thanks for the explanation. You're welcome. I look forward to hearing more about your exploits. Well, see you next time. May the wind bring you good fortune on your path ahead. Ooh, I I did this already. Maybe... I don't know, maybe it's a repeatable or something. Welcome to Floral Whisper. Do you need anything? A 
about those flowers? Did you finish getting the flowers? Got them right here. These are also fresh. Thank you. With these flowers out at the storefront, we're sure to attract a lot of customers. If I can make another small request. The wind also blew all the dandelions we had away. Although dandelions being carried away by the wind isn't a bad thing. But it still seem, but it still seems strange for a florist in Mondstadt to not have dandelions. Dandelions can't just be plucked and brought back. They have to be regrown from scratch. So could you help patch, could you help fetch a batch of dandelion seeds for me? I'll do it. I'm counting on you then. I recall that there are lots of dandelions just outside of Mondstadt. All right, let's go. Oh, do I have, do I have some apparently? Welcome to Flora Whisper. So about those dandelions. Have you managed to get the dandelions? I have them. Thank you, this should be enough. I'll sow the seeds into these pots. Along with those flowers that you found for me earlier. Oh yes, I have to thank you, don't I? This is a little token, please take it. Now, I have to quickly put these flowers inside these pots here. Then the dandelion seeds go there. And we're done. Doesn't this look like a proper florist now? Oh, right. The dandelion seeds have only just been sown, so there's nothing in the pot. I guess I have to take them off display for the time being. Ah, uh, I really hope they grow soon. Oh wow, and I'm adventure rank 28 already. Oh, what is this? A teapot to go home? Yeah, I love the teapots. Everything's ready. Let's go. Hello, nice. I should, I should try to attempt to do the spiral abyss. I'll probably attempt to do it between episodes and see how far I can de get with it. Because I don't want to set off planning on doing it for like an episode or a stream or anything, and then it's a lot more difficult than I was than I'm expecting, and then suddenly I'm like, well, looks like we're not doing it instead. But I'll probably try to do that in between episodes. If I do, I'm gonna be super. If we're able to get like Jailing and Cole, uh, Cole, I will be so happy. So so happy. All right, so let's do Windrise Windfall first, and then we'll do the Dadupa. I I've kind of. Because the thing is, I've been trying to get chests and stuff, so I've been kind of accidentally doing some of the quests. Not necessarily meaning to, it just so happens that I'll be there and I'll find the chest and then <laughs> I'm just doing stuff. Bet you can't keep up and with the next me. thing you know, I've... I think I have like... Two of the walls are done already or something. Oh my goodness. Wind blade. Let the show begin. Freeze. Yeah. Okay. be there in a second. Something that's kind of funny to me is because of all the grinding I've been doing to like get chests and animoculuses in Mondstadt, we don't really just like happen across them anymore because I've done them. And like I've been working on like uh I've been working on the bounties and their quest in between episodes too. 
You no, no, that no. Hello, Greg. <clears throat> you wanna grab a drink or two? The feeling is mutual? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, wait, I wanna see. The feeling is mutual. I don't know what that, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, who are you? I I got a good bottle of moonshine here. You interested? Um I know there's some like treasure hunters that like won't attack you and stuff like that. Like they're they not necessarily are labeled as friendly, but they they just they're just part of like the scenery and the and the the aura, the the feel of the world. So like they won't attack you, but I've never seen him. Oh my goodness. Okay. Is me, traveler. Have you cleared the merchant roads out? They're spick and span. That's great. Our winery's business can gradually resume now. Honestly, I should have reported this matter to Master Delik, but he's up to disappear. I've searched high and low for him all over the winery, but no one knows where he's gone. Adeline said something like Master Diluc has gone to attend to a personal matter, but refused to say anything more. She didn't even look worried. Forget it. Once he's back, I will have a good talk with him. Okay. I feel like we're level 28 already. I forgot how easy it is to level in the earlier, um, in the earlier levels, in the early stages of it all. Another thing I was thinking about is, so, in Inazuma and Sumeru, I know that there are world quests that are blocked by commissions, so, like, you have to do certain commissions before you can do them. I'm wondering if in, like, Leeway and in Mondstadt, there are world quests that are like that, but if you just don't notice, because the thing is that, like, you're leveling up, so you probably just assume that it's because of your level that it's suddenly unlocked. I don't know. I was thinking about that the other day, because of course I was. Because, why not? I obviously haven't looked into it at all, other than just having a thought process. But, oh yeah, yeah, literally, <laughs> I've done all the stuff for it <laughs> already. I don't know, I don't even think 
Yeah, I literally haven't even talked to the researcher. <laughs> Alright. That's a big sword. Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. Did I just... I just got... I don't know where it's gonna be. Oh yeah, I got Claymore Billet. I don't really know what of the craftable ones are actually good, actually. Let's dance. Cause I know that like prototype rancor and uh, a lot of the swords are good. But I don't know about claymores, and I know the uh catalysts are pretty good too. Um, that's... that's kind of it? Because this is leeway, leeway, dragon spine. This is still technically dragon spine. Can't unlock that till adventure rank 32. Those are commissions, this is my story quest, and these are both in leeway. So, I guess next episode, we're probably going to travel over to Leeway and make our way over there. I might do some slight adventuring to get further down, so that way, because this is the furthest down we've gotten, and we need to get to, like, here-ish. Which isn't, honestly, it's honestly not that far, but... I probably would want to at least either get to this one or this one in between episodes, so that way we don't have to travel super far to do the story quest. Because I think, I think over here is Sumeru. I think here, yeah, because this is Leeway. I think here is the Chasm, and then here is Sumeru. But yeah. So, I already have one area 100%ed. Because I've just been grinding. And, like, this one's 91%. Ooh! And I can actually unlock this one. Which is the ballad. Ooh! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, um, that's gonna be it for this episode. I guess. Because... We did the Ascension, we did a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole bunch of different quests. I had a lot of fun. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely going to be exploring Leeway next episode. I'm still going to keep grinding uh, my characters' uh, levels and ascending them and their weapons and trying to do their talents. I, um, I like... most of them, yeah, most of them haven't... Yeah, most of them have at least level 1 or 2 in theirs. But um, some of them, I have to ascend them first before I can do anything with them. Poor Gordu. Gordu is just going to be stuck at level 20 until I finally get to Inazuma. <laughs> but anyway... That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the other side.